I will cut her. Uh, I get statistically the best performance of the year. The offense coming off of um, looking back for a quick second. What what the film show you guys from the Houston Baptist game, and why were you guys able to perform so well? Uh, I think we ran the ball pretty well. We were pretty effective up front. We um, had a lot of knockdowns, and we were able to uh, you know do what our coaches asked in our game plan. And then Cody really did a good job of uh, distributing the ball, and he did uh, played a great game. And we all just played together, and we uh, had one of our best performances. You guys, the offensive line is one of those things where you never noticed if you're doing really well. It's usually, you know, when the, when the negative stuff happens. So how, how is it to have a game like that where it seemed like, you know, everything, not a, it obviously wasn't a perfect game, but it, yeah. almost everything went right for you guys. How'd that feel? Yeah, it felt good to get one of those under our belt. You know, we've been really striving to get one of those. And uh, Coach Max does a really good job of coaching us and uh, leading us. And we just try to... You know, play for uh, everyone, all five of us, and uh, play, as, play as hard as we can for each other. When it the the O line, it's been there have been a few players that have kind of stayed in their their starting role the whole season, but there have been a few times you know there's been a few changes. Really, you know, left tackle and then a little bit at center. Um, but, you know, sometimes getting down to your third string center. Yeah. How do you guys deal with that as changing? I know you guys are all a group, but yeah. how, can you just describe to me how it is to deal with that? Yeah, we're, I think we're all as an old line. We're really tight. You know, we all get along. We're all, you know, friends and we believe in each other, whether it's, you know, Tanner coming in and playing playing center and third string or Nick getting his first first start uh, last game and he played a really good game for us and uh, it's just we believe in each other no matter who's in there we think we can get the job done. And how do you feel, you know, I know you got the, you've been dealing with the shoulders coming back yeah. and obviously, you know, that's a vital part of an offensive lineman's, uh, you know, those shoulders. So how do you feel right now? I feel good. Um, doing um, rehabbing every day and trying to stay as healthy as I can. You know, played last year a little hurt, but is able to play through it and trying to keep doing that this year. Now you guys coming up this week, SFA, one of those tricky teams. They're tough and they're young. They give everybody a game. Uh, I guess just what do you guys know about them and what do you guys have to do to have more success? Yeah, they're a younger team. They do some good stuff on defense. We just got to stick to what we do on offense. And I think if we play hard, uh, we should be able to uh, have a good uh, offensive performance. And uh, you mentioned, you know, Cody and just every. How, how does it feel? No, I know you know him. Mm -hmm. You've b been with him for over a year now. Kind of seeing and kind of helping be uh, part of his progression as yeah. a quarterback. Yeah, I think Cody's done a good job of stepping in that leader ro uh, role and being able to lead this offense to. Um, you know, play. We've been playing well, keeping up and improving every week. I think he's doing a good job, and he's going to continue doing that. And what's it like blocking for somebody like Cody? Because he's not your typical, you know, drop back yeah. guy who's just going to stand back there. He's one of those that, you know, if he sees a crease, he's going to take it. And I, I'm sure that's got to make it a little interesting for the lineman to block. Yeah, we just can't have a clock in our head. We just got to keep blocking. You know, he might scramble out or something. We just got to go all out every play and not uh, not give up because, you know, Cody can always make a play. You know, we can mess up and he make a guy miss and we got to go throw another block for him and he can bust out a um, a seven-yard run last week, or you can throw a touchdown pass. He's just well, that kind of player. And how do you feel conditioning-wise? You know, I know you guys had a ton of running, and this offense yeah. requires a lot of it. How do you feel from that standpoint that you've adjusted to this offense? Yeah, definitely an up-tempo uh, offense after that uh, first drive. We had 15 plays last week. We were a little tired, but, you know, the strength coaches do a good job of making sure we're in shape, and we, uh, we, keep, we keep going fast in uh, practice as well, so that keeps us in shape as well. And then uh, finally for me, last, you know, in the fourth quarter, you guys had the ball for over 11 minutes. And that's got to be a good feeling. I'm sure you're probably a little tired yeah. then, but uh, I'm sure that had to be a good feeling knowing that probably as tired as you were, I'm sure HBU was probably even more gassed. Yeah, they were pretty gassed. I mean, we're, we're tired, but we still uh, were able to still uh, run the ball. That's a great feeling, just being able to run the ball whenever you need to, you know, ice the game. It was one of the best feelings and getting out of there with a W. Um, like I asked Justin, you guys haven't won a road game yet this year. Is that kind of sitting in the back of your head a little bit? Um, a little bit. I mean, we, we know. Um, we know it, uh, of it. And, but we're just going out there and playing as hard as we can. I think if we go out there and uh, do that, I think we should be fine. Good. Cool.